Copenhagen is growing. We are growing by around a thousand inhabitants per month. That means that we need to make the city as efficient as possible. And an efficient public transport is a huge part of that. That's why we take part in the Compass 4T program, to make sure that our buses run as fast and smooth as possible. Getting buses through the city in an efficient way is a challenge for us. The Compass 4T services helps us to address these challenges. The bus drivers receive priority at designated intersections and information about green ways. With these services, the drivers can adjust the speed and avoid fuel consuming stop and go driving. When you are driving with Compass 4D, you get smoother through the town. You can see the traffic light changing and the passengers will get a better journey through the town. And not only for the buses, but also for the other traffic, because they are following with you through the town. The main problem in Copenhagen right now is we are building a new metro and there's a lot of working places around the city. The Compass 4D services also give bus drivers an early warning of dangerous situations in traffic. For example, when a truck leaves from a construction site or when a pedestrian crosses the street in front of a bus. Copenhagen wants to be carbon neutral in 2025. Having an efficient public transport is a key part of that by saving carbon emissions for the benefit of all of us. We have a few problems with traffic in Verona. Verona is a touristic city and has 200,000 trips at least a day. Congestion is center parts of the city and this produces pollution. How does the Compass 4D app work? The user sends its current position to the traffic management center and this one replies with the predict information of all the traffic lights phases of the approaching intersection. The app provides then three main information to the user. Time to green is the remaining time when waiting for red until the next green phase. The countdown stops at five seconds so the driver can focus on the road when starts driving again. Speed advice informs the driver at which speed uh, he can pass through the next traffic lights during the green phase. And uh, traffic events provides warnings about road works, incidents and jams. I find a lot of uh, benefit using this application. First of all, I respect more the speed limit in the city, but also it's important for fuel because it's possible to reduce the use of the brakes, so it's possible to drive more relaxed. For us, pollute less by saving fuel, uh, guarantee of a schedule and reduce technical maintenance are the main goals of any public transport company. Compass 4D allows us to achieve such goals. So in the World Congress in Bordeaux, we brought in total 11 vehicles for Compass 4D, where we also showed three services in the demonstrations. It's a real success. We have driven about 2,000 kilometers in three days, and people are really pretty happy over the demonstrations. And what seems to come out of this is that people are more relaxed thanks to Cooperative ITS than when they didn't have it. IRU is a proud member of the uh, Compass 4D project through our Innovation Arm IRU projects. We have tested various services within Compass 4D. We think that especially those services where vehicles communicate with intersection and provide us preemption at these intersection is extremely valuable for heavy goods vehicles or buses and coaches. Something where we expect huge savings in the fuel consumptions of uh, vehicles. We have seen examples of up to 15% savings when you avoid these stop and goes. And of course, this is something that Compass 4D could help us to achieve in the future. It's very important that public authorities and the industry works together in order to achieve these future savings to the benefit of the society that we live in. We had the final event of the project this afternoon with a lot of presentations from the different cities which had the chance of having this pilot for one year and also from the industry which is also explaining how they think that this deployment will happen in the next years.